This week on Maker Update, a blazing fast 3D printed RC car, soft robotics in Korea, taking pictures with an Etch-A-Sketch, a robot recycler, and reading your pet's RFID. Hey, I'm Donald Bell and welcome back to another Maker Update. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks again for joining me here on the DigiKey YouTube channel. I appreciated all of the support and comments on last week's show. And I've got another fun one for you. So let's get started with the project of the week. Over on Thingiverse, Chris Cubed has a three-part guide on making this 3D printed high performance RC car. You have to bring your own brushless motor, a speed controller, and a servo for steering, but most of the project is 3D printed. From the drive shaft to the tie rods to the gearing, it's all basic PLA plastic, and to hear it from Chris, it holds up just about as well as any conventional RC car kit. Which isn't saying too much because from my experience with my son's RC car, something breaks nearly every time we go out with it. But the advantage to a system like this is that you can 3D print multiple replacement parts in advance. It looks like a lot of fun. You can find the instructions, the 3D print files, and the bill of materials on the Thingiverse page down in the show notes. It's time for some news. Last week, there was an update to the Raspbian OS for Raspberry Pi. With the update, you get new versions of the Chromium web browser, an update to the VLC media player, a bunch of performance improvements, and external drives will now mount to the desktop by default. You can find the updated image file at raspberrypi.org downloads. And this week, there's a conference on soft robotics in Seoul, Korea called Robosoft. It's an exploration of different types of robots that use air-filled or fluid-filled appendages and actuators to interact with the world. There's a great video that runs through dozens of different robot demos you're likely to see at that conference. Most of them are robotic concepts I've never seen before. It's worth a look. Back to more projects. Martin Fitzpatrick has a beautiful guide on how he hacked his Etch-A-Sketch to automatically draw pictures taken with a built-in camera. This is a Raspberry Pi project that uses the Pi camera module to snap a photo, then convert it to a one-bit, high-contrast image that gets rendered into a line drawing with a single continuous line. Two inexpensive stepper motors plot the image onto the Etch-A-Sketch. The gears, knobs, and frame are all 3D printed based on a Tinkercad design. You can find the project guide, the code, and the 3D design files all on 2bitarcade.net. From DIYO, there's a great guide on making your own robot arm using 3D printed parts in Arduino Nano, servos, and a handful of other components. It's a cute design, simple enough to print and construct in a weekend, and definitely ripe for modifications. For something much more complex, the MIT Artificial Intelligence Lab has a video and two academic papers on Rocycle. This is a soft robotics arm that can actually sort recyclable materials into separate bins. While it's not the most efficient recycler, the cool thing here is how it's detecting materials based on the feedback of how squishy it is. There's actually no computer vision going on here, just flexible plastic robot fingers reporting back on how squishy the thing is that they're gripping. It's time for a few tips and tools to share. First up, there's this brilliantly done web-based interactive introduction to Fourier transforms by Jez Swanson. From an audio perspective, it's a way to break down complex sounds into a series of overlapping sine waves, but there are all kinds of applications for the same idea, and it's a great brain stretcher. On the Cool Tools channel, I take a look at two types of nippers that include a kind of lead catcher to keep your workbench tidy. Apparently this is an old idea, but this style is more rare these days. On Tindy, I learned about a maker-made product called Shoutbox. It's a device to help with accessibility, either for playing video games or controlling equipment. With it, you can trigger a button press with a shout or any loud noise that can be picked up by the built-in microphone. Aaron Chambers has some GitHub example Python code for how he was able to synchronize a dressable LED strip with MIDI commands from his music keyboard. On Hackaday, Jade Lin showed off an idea for a rechargeable battery solution for the Pi Zero called the Pi Sugar. It's a battery and board that take up the same footprint as the Pi Zero and transfer power to the Pi using spring pins to keep the design extra skinny. It's not a product yet, but it has a lot of potential. Andreas Spies has a video that goes over to how to read your pet's RFID tag implant for use in home automation projects. Because it uses an uncommon frequency, you have to get a specific type of reader. Once you have it though, you can create a pet feeder or a pet door project that is specific to your animal. Industrial designer Eric Strebel has a video showing how he was able to cast and recreate vintage clear plastic covers for VU meters. 
I've seen a lot of videos showing how to cast plastic parts, but not clear plastic like this. Plus, Eric has some new techniques that make use of his laser cutter that I haven't seen before. And through Hackaday, I learned about a relatively new tool for processing images into 3D designs. It's called Meshroom, and it's free open source software for Windows and Linux. There's a great video overview on the Prusa 3D channel of how to use it to create designs for 3D printing. And for this week's product spotlight, let's take a look at the Pimeroni Thermal Camera Breakout. This is a heat vision camera that you can use for an Arduino or Raspberry Pi over an I2C connection. It can detect temperatures from negative 40 to 300 degrees Celsius with one degree accuracy and a 64 frame per second frame rate. It also comes in a standard or a wide angle option. Maybe you wanna make your own night vision camera or a robot that knows when to flip burgers at your barbecue or put a twist on that Pi Etch-A-Sketch project. You can order the board through DigiKey or even just add it to your favorites for when the right project comes along. All right, and that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up or leave a comment. Get on the Maker Update email newsletter to get show notes emailed out to you automatically each week with a few bonus projects thrown in. A huge thanks to my patrons on Patreon and to DigiKey for sponsoring this show. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.